Now I give the floor to the representative of UN Watch to make a joint statement on behalf of 35 NGOs. Yes, sir, you have the floor. Thank you. Mr. Chairperson, I make this statement on behalf of UN Watch along with the Arab Organization for Human Rights, the African Services Committee, Freedom House, the Transnational Radical Party, the World Federalist Movement, World YWCA, and 31 other NGOs, representing a broad and diverse spectrum of international civil society. Many of us here today who were present in this hall in April when Secretary General Kofi Annan inspired us with his vision of a new Human Rights Council, a, quote, society of the committed, comprised of member states with, quote, a solid record of commitment to the highest human rights standards. The Secretary General shared the conclusions of the high-level panel and many others in finding that the Commission was terminally infected by politicization and selectivity. We have reached a point, he said, quote, at which the Commission's declining credibility has cast a shadow on the reputation of the United Nations system as a whole and where piecemeal reforms will not be enough, end quote. We agree. The creation of the new Council must be more than a change in name. The UN human rights machinery needs serious and meaningful reform. Accordingly, consistent with the civil society statement submitted to the President of the General Assembly on the 1st of November 2005 and aiming to strengthen the options paper of the 3rd of November, we respectfully offer the following proposals concerning the new Council. The Council should be elevated to principal organ status within five years, while transitionally serving as a subsidiary body of the General Assembly. Mandate. The Council should address any matters relating to the protection and promotion of human rights, including specific situations of gross, systematic, continuing, or urgent violations. The Council should be empowered to make recommendations and report on all such matters to member states and bodies within the UN system, including to the Security Council and the General Assembly. Composition. States seeking election to the Human Rights Council should be required to demonstrate in the words of the Secretary General, quote, a solid record of commitment to the highest human rights standards, end quote. Undertake to cooperate fully with the Council and put forward a platform describing what they seek to accomplish during their term of membership. Elections. Members of the Council should be elected by an individual and direct vote of two-thirds of the GA. Regional groups should be required to put forward more candidates than the number of seats allocated to the region. When establishing membership, due consideration should be given to the contribution of member states to the protection and promotion of human rights. Methods of work. The Council should be a standing body which, which meets regularly throughout the year and is able to respond in a timely fashion to any matters involving the protection and promotion of human rights. Meetings of the Council, in addition to the regular sessions, could be called by one-third of Council members, its Chair, the Secretary General, or the High Commissioner for Human Rights. Agenda. The Council should rationalize the items of its agenda based on the principle that every member state is entitled to equality before the law. Special Procedures. The system of special procedures should be transferred to the Council with enhanced coherence and support, as well as greater participation in Council meetings. NGO participation. The Council should ensure a level of participation by NGOs at least as high as that at the Commission on Human Rights by retaining the existing rules and practices. In conclusion, Mr. Chairperson, only by incorporating each of these elements Will the Human Rights Council fulfill the UN's promise of reform and meet the legitimate hopes and expectations of the world's rights-bearing citizens? Failure to secure any of these key and interrelated points would compromise the entire effort. We look forward to continuing to work with the President and the co-chairs to 
support the establishment of an effective, credible, and authoritative Human Rights Council that will genuinely 